Okay, what's up world? It's your boy Drew Marcy, rap coach extraordinaire, world's first and favorite rap coach, leader of the legends. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know three of the top secrets on how to pick great beats for your rhymes, how to have the best music behind your raps so that you can actually make an impact and have the fans feeling your stuff even before you start dropping wives. Now these are some things that you as a beginning rapper or an upcoming rapper or even an experienced rapper may not be always thinking about when you're picking beats but once you watch this, once you know these, you have that much better of an ear because as you know, the musical backing is a huge part of actually being able to impact the fans. Actually having, having them want to check for your mixtape, your album, your new track because they know no matter what, your shit's going to be bumping. Your shit's going to be slamming. So let's get into these three tips in this quick video so you can get out there, start searching for new beats with this newfound knowledge. Now, the first secret that's very important and many rappers seem to forget or miss or don't even know, the first secret is understanding the importance of live instrumentation. The ability to know if the instruments sound live, if they sound like they were created um, in a real professional manner, or if they're actually real, actual instruments, you know? One of the main things that I see with sort of amateurish beats beats that don't sound that hot, beats that are not making an impact to the fan's ear, one of the main things you'll hear is it sounds kind of chintzy. It sounds like a Casio keyboard. It sounds like a fake-ass xylophone, like one of those old Fisher-Price xylophones you used to have back in the day as a kid. It doesn't sound real. Even in the case of synthesizers, which are automated types of instruments, there's a way that it sounds professional. There's a way that it sounds like professional grade, like Grammy award-winning type shit. In a way, there's a way that it sounds fake. So one of the main secrets for you is to begin to understand and know and train your ear to know an actual live instrument. Does it sound like an actual piano? Does it sound like an actual string quartet? Do those sound like horns or do they sound like something that was made in a Casio keyboard or with some cheap reason plugin that you didn't invest in or you try to get through downloading illegally? So one of the main tips I had in order for you to know this and get better at this and the ways that I started started to do this is number one, be sure to be studying um, and just going through classical music. Go through and familiarize yourself with maybe some classic rock music. Basically have a well-rounded ear and actually go and listen to the live performances. Now, you may be sitting here like, I'm a rapper, I don't really find, I'm, I'm not listening to Beethoven or to Mozart and none of that shit, Drew, like, it's not really my thing. Well, one of the easy cheat codes to fix this is, why don't you go and listen to a couple film scores? Or listen to those motivational videos that have live film scores, they might have like Inception soundtrack, or whatever, the Gladiator soundtrack. Go listen to that, take a few minutes and listen to those strings. Listen to those pianos, listen to those introductions because those are invariably live instruments. So just familiarize, familiarize yourself with the sound of live instruments because I can tell you whether or not your fans know it on a conscious level, they can notice when this shit sounds cheap. They can notice when your beat sounds like it was created in your homeboy's bathroom while you were out smoking and not really paying attention and you're just like, well, this is the beat and you just go rap. So, Number one secret is live instrumentation. Study the, the live performances of these. Know what a real piano sounds like. Listen to Beethoven for five minutes, even if you don't like it. Listen to a film score to know what horns and some epic shit sounds like. Live instrumentation, very key. Number two secret in order to find great beats, I'm gonna tell you straight up, you gotta know what a good beat drop feels like. A beat drop is basically when, you know, you might have a little sample or you might have a little bit of piano or whatever, and then finally the drums kick in. So this is known as the beat drop. And you should be familiarizing yourself with how a really well-placed beat drop and sort of the way that it kicks in, so to speak, and how that feels. Because one of the main ways to know a not great beat or a beat that's just gonna lose the fans is you might have a dope sample. And I, I'm sure you've heard these before where you're like, damn, this beat's about to be hot, this sample's perfect, or this little piano riff is perfect. And then once the beat drives, you're like, ah, oh, you lost it. 
So the second thing is to study great beat drops. One of the easiest ways to do this is just listen to the great uh, producers of those sort of hard hitting, bumping, uh, beat dropping beats. So one of the classic examples being somebody like Timbaland, one of the more innovative rhythmic producers. Uh, more recently, you can go check out like Metro Boomin. Obviously a lot of his beats are bumping and they start with a little like intro and then the beat really hits hard. Something like Big Rings by Drake and Future, Scholarships by Drake and Future, things of this nature. Also, of course, Dre, DJ Premier, all of the great producers. You want to go study them and just listen to those first 30 seconds when the beat drops, feel how it comes in, that swing, and it will make you a much better judge of how the fans are going to react when that beat, that good beat that you want, kicks in. And the last thing, and this is kind of an interesting one, probably never heard this before, the last secret is I want you to not make the mistake of if you hear a beat by a producer that sounds professional, instrumentation's good, the drop's good, but it's not your style, I don't want you immediately when you're searching through YouTube or SoundClick or SoundCloud, however you find your beats, don't immediately just go to another producer. There's a lot of times in which the producer may have made that beat for a specific style and I'll listen and I'll say, well, this ain't really what I'm going for. It doesn't work with my voice, but clearly this dude knows what he's doing. So what I want you to do is stop yourself and go through the other beats of the producer. So if you find a beat where you're like, oh, the shit sounds really professional, but it's not my style, rather than being like, well, I'll just go to another producer who's making my style, stop yourself, this is a real key, and go through some of the other beats of the producer. A lot of these people are really talented, especially the ones that haven't been discovered yet, and they're trying different styles out, and you might actually find one that really works for your swag, your style, all of that. So looking back, again, these are extremely important and sort of hidden ways, the cheat codes as I like to call them, in order for you to know how to pick good beats. I want you to know what live instrumentation sounds like. I want you to know what a great beat drop sounds like. And for sure, I want you to be knowing that these producers are trying many different styles, creating themselves just like you're trying to make original stuff and stop yourself from just going to another producer. Actually investigate these dudes a little bit and I bet you you might find something, especially if these guys are talented, that could really work for you. So with that being said, as always at the end of these videos, I say if you're a serious rapper, if you want to take things to the next level, if you really feel like you don't have a direction for your career, but you know you want one, you have that passion, be sure to click the link below this video in the video description box to check out my online class, the exclusive group where we have rappers from around the world. They're, we're just growing in leaps and bounds and eventually we're going to have to stop. So if you're serious and you really want to take it to the next level, be sure to sign up for the class and start working with me directly so I can coach you on your music. But otherwise, regardless, I hope this helps you guys out. Be looking for more videos coming up on topics like this. Always try to keep it practical and peace and love from the big homie Drew and I'm out.